and salutations, it's me, so you welcome back to Two Cent Stories, and today I'm going to be doing another custom. Um, taking the Indiana Jones Raid of the Lost Ark troop car, which came out in 2007-2008, somewhere around there, gearing up basically for a uh, crystal skull. And I'm going to be turning it into this, which I found on Instagram, uh, it's by the Crimson Idol on Instagram, so I can't take credit for this design or this idea, it's 100% his, but... I saw it when I was just scrolling through, and I was like, you know what, Tony over at Analog Toys, that's who I'm making this custom for, would love that. So, I'm going to do it a little bit different, you know, it's not going to be 100% that. A lot of the key things will be the same, like, you know, the black hood and kind of the red car and all that. But as you can see, you can only see the front of the car. So, the sides, the rear, the interior, all that's going to be up to me. And I have some things I'm going to change around, I'm going to do little things a little different. But, by and large, you know, the idea came from the Crimson Idol. Uh, his Instagram page will also be linked in the description below, as well as Analog Toys. So, I'm going to open up this box, I'm going to disassemble this vehicle, we're going to start painting it, and uh, hopefully we have some fun with it. I know my work center is a little more chaotic than you normally see it. Uh, I'm filming this back-to-back -back with the A-Wing custom that I did, so I have all my stuff still out. But, we also get this kind of road barrier with it, you know, it just kind of clips together there, just like that, so I'm probably going to do some wood grain on that maybe, or I don't know, maybe paint the trusses silver and put some rust on them or something, I, I don't know, I might just leave this the way it is, I'm really tempted to do something to it, but you see we also get uh, all these barrels in this bag, so I'm probably going to paint these up a little bit, maybe put some rust or maybe go over this in silver and then over it in black and then kind of dig those out so it looks like dings and all that, I don't know. I'll, I'll figure out something. So maybe get some water decals and put a logo on these or something. Or I'm tempted to do some silver and black on this. You can see here, this plugs into the top. And then there's actually a post in this vehicle right here that it plugs into. And then it plugs into this post here. And then there's a lever on the back. Kind of swivels it around a little bit there. So, I don't know. I might do some painting on that. Maybe make this silver, put some patina on it or something. And then the projectile, which uh, I'll probably just leave alone. I don't know if I'm going to do all that. I might just leave this stuff alone and just focus on the vehicle. So the vehicle itself is mostly in gray, as you can see. You know, it's got wheels at work. It's got pegs and all that. There's that little thing I was telling you about where the gun goes. So there's a lever that swings a person back and forth. I'm going to do something about this rear view. I might put, you know, yellow on these lights or I might leave them silver. I don't know. The grill is going to get painted for sure. The headlights will get painted. This is going to get uh, painted and probably a decal added to it. But luckily, this comes apart. So I can unscrew it and I can take the chassis out and all that. And that will hopefully make things a little easier. Like I can remove the wheels or I can take these seats out. So that's what I'm hoping for. And that's what I'm going to shoot for. Let's go ahead and take this thing apart. Alright, so I got it all disassembled. As you can see, it came apart mostly in kind of big chunks. Um, I might try, I, I could not get the wheel off of here. Uh, the screw head was starting to crack apart and I'm just gonna have to find a way to paint around it because I had another screw on the bottom do the same thing. I had to drill it out. So I don't really want to have to find a replacement screw for this. Same with the front part here. Um, all these are really pegged in there. So I'm not sure how I'm gonna remove all these. I might just cut them off, re-glue it all down, I don't know yet, but uh, I'll cross that bridge where I come to it. So this is kind of the main seat where the driver sits and all that, and it just hooks into the bottom, as you can see. Just got to kind of come up with a color scheme for everything, you know, like here on the bottom, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I, I'm tempted to go over everything in silver and then do dry brush black and brown and all that kind of stuff, but that's a lot of silver. And same thing with the floor. I really want to make this silver and then go over it in black and kind of like scrape it up a little bit, but I, I just don't know. I guess we'll figure it out. For the chairs, I want to go over them in kind of a cream color and then, you know, do the stitching in a different color or something. I don't know. I, I don't want to do just red and black on all of it because Baron Ironblood has a white uniform, so I'd, I'd, ideally I'd like this to be his vehicle. So I'm thinking if I do the seats in white and like this canopy part in white, then I can do red and black on everything else, just, just for color variation. And these rivets are kind of everywhere, so I'd like to do kind of a flat color on everything and then just do like silver on the rivets or something, just something, you know, color variety. I'll kind of figure this out and you'll just see the end result. All right, so I've decided 
silver for the bottom, and I'll dry brush black on top of that. That's what I decided. This is going to take a while. I did not think this through. Oh well, it'll be fine. Worst case scenario, I'll just go in with a, a dry brush, like a dry paint brush, just kind of smear this around. Worst case scenario. Let me find a dry brush and see if that works. Oh, it does work. How about that? Perfect. Right, I'm probably going to cut most of this out, to be perfectly honest with you. Okay, so I've also decided I'm going to paint kind of all these, like, brackets and the like. I don't know car terminology, but anything that looks sturdy, I'm going to paint silver and probably spackle it with black or mud or whatever I can figure out. Just because I don't know what the underside of this vehicle would look like. I mean, it's supposed to be new, but I want it to look used. I don't know. But I've already started and too late now. Basically, it's going to be a bunch of silver down here. I'm going to go through with details and change all this stuff up. And this is all silvered now, by the way. So I went ahead, knocked out the gun off camera. So a little bit of black and silver kind of mixed in. Painted the butt buttstock brown there. That's probably all I'll do with it. I opted to paint just this one part silver. I'll just leave that at that. And I finished the silver on the bottom here. Had a few uh, little extra areas, but I'm going to go over most of the other black, so... No problems, no worries. I think what I'll do now is try the cream color, because I was going to go with white, but I think I'd rather do cream, which is just slightly off-white. I know it looks white on camera, but it's just slightly off-white, and I think I'll do that. There's a lot of kind of nooks and crannies in here, so I'm not sure how well this is going to go, but uh, I think it'll be all right. I'm tempted because of the crannies to go over it in gray and then go over it in white. I'll probably just do this. Luckily, this stuff can wash off if I don't like it. So, uh, let's give it a couple squigs here. Worst case scenario, again, I can just take a brush and kind of force all that in there, which I kind of like the way that looks on its own. I kind of like the cream color on the seats, so I think I'm gonna keep that. I went ahead and knocked out the uh, canopy while I was waiting for it to dry. Gonna do this part next which is the, the roll bar in this seat, which will be the last of the white. Basically, what I've been doing this whole time is taking the paint pen and kind of marking it like that, and then I've been taking a flat brush, marking it all in, which I think gives it kind of a textured, more organic feel to it, instead of just being, like, solid. It also gets it down into the grooves, which I think helps a lot. That's basically what I've been doing. So make a little bit more progress. You know, this chair is done. The canopy's done. So I think I'm completely done with the off-white cream color. I think I'll start with this, because this will be mostly simple. So I'm going to do black on the hood and red everywhere else. I'm going to do red up the side here. I have to figure out what I'm going to do with the instrument panel here, what I'm going to add to it, what I'm going to paint, all that kind of stuff. I think I'm probably just going to go over it in black, just to be honest with you, maybe put some white here. I don't know. I'll do something with it. I think for the rear views here, I'm actually going to hit them with a Maltop chrome pen so they'll be reflective. That's probably what I'll do for that. And uh, I guess we'll come back when this is done. So I'm making a little bit of progress here. I wish it had more sheen, but it's dry and matte, which maybe I can just spray it with clear coat or something. I don't know yet. When I ended it silver on the grill here, it's a mixture of just a kind of gloss silver with the paint pen and the chrome pens. So, I don't know if you can see kind of the flashes of silver, but those are in the chrome pen and everything else is in the matte silver. Went ahead and hit the rear view mirrors with the chrome pens. So, I know it's kind of hard to see, but you can see how reflective they are now. I went ahead and hit this pole again with some silver just down the kind of main shaft of it. I hit the gear shifter with some silver on top. I went ahead and did black all over. I think you already saw that though. And I went ahead and hit the bottom silver with some black. I'm going to go over with some brown as well just to put some dirt up in there. And I'll probably hit this part again with heavier black just because that's where people are standing. I'm trying to kind of pattern it like their feet, like it's people's dirt and stuff getting in there. What I'm going to do right now is these barrels. I'll have these various little divots and dings in them. I'm not going to hit all of them, but I'm going to hit some of them and it's going to be different on each barrel. So I'm going to hit them with silver and then I'm going to paint the rest of the barrel probably in red into the lid as black. That's what I'm thinking. And then I'll put some kind of water decal on it or something. So how I'm doing this is I'm putting like a little, little dab of silver here in my little work center, which you can see all the paint. This is kind of what I do. I hit my little white mat with paint and then I just dab it with my brush instead of, you know, doing anything else. It's off camera for you, but I'm going to dab my little bit of silver here just to get it on my brush. And I'm going to go through and just kind of randomly pick different 
spots, which ideally, the, the idea being is that it's going to be a silver barrel that they painted red. So that way, when I do go over it in red, it'll look like, you know, damages, like the paint's been shipped and all that. So I might be doing this backwards, though. If it doesn't work out, then I'll just come back and do it the other way. Yeah, I think I should probably hit these in red first and then do the silver on top of that. I think that would look better. You know, we'll find out. So this on the top and this on the side are going to be painted silver after everything else is done with red. So for red, I have a separate brush. Yes, I don't anymore. Yeah, I turned my red brush into a black brush. So I got these two little brushes. I'm going to use the big brush for kind of the big areas of the barrel and the little brush for this thing right here. All right, you know what? I might do these, uh, do these wraps in black, actually, now that I think about it. I think, that, I think that's what I'll do. So I'm going to use the same process, you know, basically get some red somewhere, put it on my brush, and then kind of around the barrel. And I'll show you what that looks like when I'm done. And I might do the reverse method on a different barrel and show you the, if it turns out different. If it turns out different. All right, so here's the barrels, which I ended up doing the uh, red method with silver on top for both. Basically because the one I did the silver on first, when I was done with the red, it really looked bad. So I basically just did the method on both. And I like this a lot better. I think this turned out really great with the, the silver on top of the red. I think that's actually pretty cool. Uh, this one is hoarding all the screws at the moment, so it's not done yet. But I'm going to go through, paint the black bands on here, and then paint the top of this black. I already touched the silver on the front. Uh, off camera while I was waiting because I got impatient, I went ahead and knocked out the black on the interior of this. That's kind of nice. I might go through with some silver and just dry brush there on the metal rods. And maybe on the interior, because th that matte black just doesn't quite do it for me. It needs a little little gusto, if you will. I decided that the trailer on the back was going to be black. And I went ahead and dry brushed some silver on the rails here, which I think I painted black off camera as well. But, you know, that, that's kind of what I'm wanting, is some of that kind of silver dry brush on top. When I set out to do this originally, it was just going to be solid colors. But the more I'm alone with it, the more I'm starting to do more and more things to it. So I think I'm going to do the black on these and then I don't know maybe I'll do the black on the hood here because the red's turning out okay. It's matte. I'd like it to be glossy but that's fine. So I think I'll do the black on the hood, the black on the barrels. I'm also going to go through uh, with a toothbrush to add some mud to things and I'll show you how I'm going to do that. Actually I'll leave that in because it's a new technique I haven't already done on the channel before. And that's really why a lot of this stuff is kind of cut out and I'm doing off camera because it's stuff you've seen me do before. You know, if you're new to the channel, you have it, but I've done plenty of customizing videos where you've seen me go through with painter's pens or you've seen me go through with paintbrushes and do a bunch of the techniques I'm already doing. So I'll show you the toothbrush when I get to it, but I think I'm going to knock out a lot of this stuff. All right, so barrels are done. Well, they're a little sloppy, but I think they look really freaking cool. So again, this one has the screws, so I'll save that for later. I went ahead and painted the hood black, which I think turned out very clean. So I'm very happy with that. I went ahead and started painting some of the stuff black on the side there, which I'm going to have to do eventually, but I'll come back to it. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to brush some silver on there. So I'll show you how I'm doing that. Basically how I've been doing it, add into my little silver puddle here and taking a silver brush getting it on the brush it's basically dry brushing is what I'm doing so I'm just doing it a little bit different than what you normally see gonna lightly kind of brush on this stuff just to give it a little you know a little character here and now it has a little bit of character instead of just being all black which I wanted to do that on this as well like I like the black the the black on the bracket but I wanted this to be kind of brushed a little bit in the light itself but you know what, let's do the bracket too. There we go. I'm debating if I want this to be silver or not. I might just leave it the way that it is. Oh, I'm already touching it with silver, so here we go. All right, so a lot of stuff happened. I opted to give kind of a rust look to the barrier there. Went ahead and did some dirt and grime and all that on the undercarriage. Painted the headlights yellow. Painted all the rivets silver, so that's all done. I ended up painting the windshield silver and went with black on the inside. And I did the outside of the vehicle, so it's all red, red there on the inside. 
went with red on the back and did some silver touch-ups. I'm not sure what's supposed to be what, but there you go. So there's the other side. And went with silver on the bumper and outlined the license plate in black. And I did the other barrel. But now it's time to show you the uh, thing I was talking about. Which basically all you do is you take a toothbrush. This is just one that I picked up. I think it was like a dollar. Something like that. You put paint on it and you just do that. And it kind of flings it and kind of like spackles it a little bit. I'm actually just going to apply it directly. I need as acrylic again. There we go. Work that in there. And then... See? Now we have mud on the tires. Isn't that cool? Now you could also put this on like the chassis or you could put this on like the body itself if you want like kind of like a spun mud kind of effect but I'm just going to stick with the tires and the hubcaps because I don't really want to cover up all that red that I just did. I actually learned this in the third grade if you can believe that. Never forgot it for some reason. There we go. Mud on the tires, mud on that. I might do a little bit on the body, but not a whole bunch. Where I will hit it though, I think I'll hit this with it. Yeah, I like that. So, you know, someone's been standing back there a whole bunch. Let's see if I can pull this off. There we go, now we got some grime in there. Let me hit the floorboards here with a little bit of mud. Hit right here with a little bit. People have been walking and standing on there. Wash my thumb and wash out this toothbrush. Not that I'm going to brush my teeth with it, but I'm going to wash it out. I'm going to reassemble all this and then we'll apply the water decals and we'll be done. Okay, so I said I would be back after I applied the decals, but I wanted to show you the decal sheet and where I got them from. So this is the decal sheet, which I realize is very difficult to make out all these, you know, different red shadows logos with the skulls and all that but this is the decal sheet and it came from bad mother tattoos and customs over uh so you can see the facebook the email and the ebay store so that's who they came from where i got them and they're nice enough to include instructions so that's nice uh, i won't be able to follow most of these but i'll see if i can get them to work anyway so there's their info one more time so i'll be sure to link uh, this stuff also in the description. Only caveat is I was hoping that this would be a lot bigger because I wanted to put a big one on the hood like in the photo I showed you at the beginning but uh, I'll show it to you again right now. Upon closer examination of that I think what it was is that that was printed out on paper and was just uh, glued on there just kind of looking at it up close. I guess I'll just probably close to the front of the hood or something. I'm going to put a couple around the vehicle some on these barrels but, but I'm going to go do that and then we'll come back. Okay we are all done. Decals are applied. Paint is done. It's done. Here on the barrels, I, I mean, you can kind of see the gloss from the water decals. That's really my fault. But I applied stickers on the top and on the side of each barrel. I didn't paint the inside because I didn't see the point. I didn't apply any decals to the fence, even though I was tempted to. I just left it the way it is. And on the vehicle, I put two on the front bumper, one on each side of that little kind of flag. Put one on the front of the hood there. I put one on the rear panel on both the passenger and the driver's side, as you can see. And I put one on each side of that buttstock. I opted not to do anything with this missile thing. So, all that's left for me to do is to pack this up and send it off to Tony over at Analog Toys, who, you know, his channel, of course, is going to be in the description below. Go give him a watch and a subscribe, please. You will not regret it. Top quality stuff there. Uh, let me know what you think down below. You know, what would you have done in terms of colors? You know, where would you have put decals? You know, was this a waste of time, do you think? Or do you think it's really cool? Again, shout out to the Crimson Idol for coming up with this and putting it on his Instagram. It wasn't super duper difficult to do. It was more time consuming than it was difficult. But i like to know what you think down below, if you like it or not, all that kind of stuff. And if you like what you saw or you found it entertaining, then all that asks is that you click like on the video and subscribe to the channel. It's a great way to help me out and I always appreciate it. And today, I also ask that you go check out Analog Toys. This is who it's going to, and he makes top quality content. So, anyway, I thank you for stopping by and spending some time with me today. And until next time, I'm Salty, signing off.